Langford. Seven CR. Okay. If this does anything, or if it does half as good, or what am I trying to say? If this is as good as the trunk, then, uh, which I think it will do just as good. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so it's been a little slow today, and I've been able to do a lot more paperboard material than usual. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some additional material now. Um, namely, uh, balloon ribbon, or balloon string, and some hard and soft uh, paper packaging. Uh, because this knife has already done about as much as I would normally do in four hours. Uh, let's go ahead though and check the sharpness of it using our copier paper as a base. Try to keep that glue cleaned up on it. Let me see. Uh, still got some. Still got some glue on it. Oh. So as you can see, it is cutting paper. And the only reason why I'm doing uh, two hours instead of four is because I've had, see this, the paper's curved on that, because I've uh, been a little slow, so I've had a lot of time to, a lot of time to process material. So we'll go ahead and start adding some additional materials now. Okay, so it is half time and I do have a lot of material already processed. As I said, I went ahead and started processing other materials early. So this is now four hours into this. And let's check this edge, make sure there's no glue. And it is still get a straight piece of paper it is still cutting paper 7CR steel have not touched up the edge at all so that's four hours in I'm done. So, uh, check this out. I don't know when that happened. It had to be one of the recently because I opened the knife, but I didn't do anything excessive. So, huh, that's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. I'll deal with that here in a second. So basically, this is probably the most material that I've cut. And it still cuts paper. 
Um, I did not cut any wood, but I did cut some dog biscuits, which were hard, and these treats that are hard. Chew toys, I should say. Um, and uh, fishing line, balloon string, soft and hard plastic packaging, and all sorts of paper products. Cardboard, cardstock, etc. Elas elastic card cord, electrical tape, uh, rubber bands. So, just to give you a rundown, here's Here's the materials in no certain order. Yeah, so other than this uh, liner lock, which I've had happen on other knives, but that's just really weird. Let's see if I'm getting that popped out. But I'm done. Okay, we got it fixed. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I just took the wedge and wedged it right here and pushed it. This knife has been really good for me these last couple of days. I've been using it a lot. Um, but yeah, so slightly off center. Still cuts paper. I did not have to touch up the 7CR at all, which means uh, it's going to do great for an everyday carry knife. This knife was $25 with excellent materials as far as G10 scales and bearings. <clears throat> Blade play has not gotten worse. It got a little loose from the flicking yesterday. But yeah, that's really weird. I just. I didn't do anything crazy. It's not doing it now. And you can see it's locked up really good right there in the middle. Yeah, weird. Huh. Just to give you an idea of some of the materials. <clears throat> so, food packaging, plastic packaging, Paper, copier paper, paperboard, cardboard. I took some electrical tape and made a little rope out of it and just cut it. So that's just some of the stuff. So it did good. <coughs> 7 CR. It did just as good as the trunk. I did actually the most material I think I've ever done in eight hours and that's because work was kind of slow today so that gives me more time plus I got to a point where I was actually getting bored of cutting stuff so <clears throat> so I did slow down I probably could have gone faster but again 7CR eight hours of EDC that you'll probably never get done in a normal EDC situation and it worked great $25 knife from Buck oh it's a chilly rain good thing I didn't put up my vest for the season. It's supposed to have a chance of snow next week also, so 